most of our forms are going to have a close box on the top of the title bar in the upper right hand corner that the user can exit the application by clicking that uh, button with the X on it and the application would go away. There may be times when you don't want to have those control buttons available on the title bar and we can actually turn them off in the properties for our form by setting the control box property to false or you may simply just want to also have an exit button that the user can click to end the program. There may be some other things you want to do when the user ends such as saving your data rather than just closing out the application. So let's look at how to code this exit button uh, in C Sharp and then I'll look at how to code it in VB. So in C Sharp I'm simply going to double click on the exit button that I've created. It's named BTN Exit. I get my uh, sub procedure declaration for BTN Exit underscore click and the code that I'm going to write to exit my application is simply this which is a keyword which refers to the form itself and I'm going to call the forms close method that will close the application and if I close that was close the window and if I close the main window that also closes the application so this dot close this should be in lowercase notice it's blue it's a keyword close is uppercase C and I can tell that's a method because it has parentheses so let's just test this I click the exit button and the application indeed closes. Now here's the same application in Visual Basic. Um, again, I'm going to double click on my button. It gives me the private sub in sub procedure declarations and inside of that I'm going to use the close method again, but this time rather than, than the this keyword that we used in C Sharp, in VB the keyword is me which that refers to the form. So it's going to be me.close, my set of parentheses, since it is a method. I don't need a semicolon at the end of this line since we're in DB. And I'm going to test. And that indeed works.